All right. So make sure here you make this as a constant and also this initial water saturation because actually we, we construct or we we make tangent line, straight line starting from that initial point. Okay. And if you check this DFW with respect to DSW versus water saturation, you get that. Okay. And the intersection, the crossing point, the touching point between the fractional flow curve and the tangent line will occur at this highest point. Okay. Which is at water saturation of 43.3%, which is very, very close with this one, right? It's not very close, it's actually it, okay? So, and we can also find it next, the FW, the SW, okay? And just find it using Excel. Okay, it occurs at this one. Okay. And yep, just like that. So I we get the answer already if I copy this one. Okay. So the water saturation at breakthrough which is actually the same with saying water saturation at front SWF is actually 43.35%. And we can also, let's say divided by 100, 43.35%. Okay, and to know the fractional flow curve, which also called fractional flow curve, a uh, fractional flow at front, just take it from that 83, 80.64%, which is pretty much very, very close with the simple guess like that. Okay, and what about water saturation, average water saturation behind the front, okay, behind the front at breakthrough, then we need to construct a more detailed line. To get this point, we need to correct this line first. So now because we already have a true value, I can insert here as W is 43.35 and FW is 0 0.806, okay? And I will make it like this, make it bold. Okay, it's raining outside. And I will correct my line. I will delete it first so that it's like this. Okay, so I have the correct straight line. I have the correct tangent line, okay? And we can also construct the, we can also show the equation at trend line, okay? It's linear. Show the display equation on chart and R square. Of course, the R square is one. Okay, so now we have the correct slope, which is 0 0.0275. And we have the correct intercept minus 0 0.3863. And of course, with that, we can get this water saturation. Okay. Of course, the fractional flow here at the at, at the top is one. So now we can just calculate the water saturation, the average water saturation behind the front at breakthrough. I can rewrite the equation like this. So S, so Y is actually FW and X is actually water saturation. So it's like this, okay? So to get S, okay? 
to calculate the SW. It's very simple. So it's just fractional flow minus intercept. And then everything divided by the slope. Okay, or if you want to make it on the left, it's like this. Okay, so you get the water saturation by one minus intercept divided by slope. So you get that the water saturation, the average water saturation behind the front, behind the water front at breakthrough is 50.41, which is actually very, very close with our guess, our first guess, our simple guess, which is 50%. Okay, and we can extend the straight line 50%. 